Um, this is a quick tutorial about how to shield and protect yourselves. So it's very simple. Um, I have my kids to help me because um, it's important to teach our kids to do the same. So it's very easy. Um, basically, you just close your eyes and you visualize um, a pillar of white light coming down from above. God's white light coming down from above. And now it's going like a waterfall pouring down 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 around each side of your body down your shoulders and sealing at the feet seal it with a violet flame and you set the intention ask God to protect you and expand that bubble of white light bigger and bigger as big as you can and then bring it back down centered at your heart space and say I am in control and you can do that yeah it's important to do that you know every morning and then every night yep so again let's do it one more time so we close our eyes and visualize a pillar of God's white light coming from above down to our right through our crown chakra covering our entire bodies on each side right sealing around our feet you can visualize as little zipper of um, violet flame to make it sealed completely and then do it morning and night and expand it bigger and bigger around your house around your kids it's really simple around your cat she's over there <laughs> and around your home and then you're protected it's as simple as that just um keep boosting that shield of protection always and, my soul, soul. and nothing um that doesn't serve you can get in it's that easy so there's enough all right so um you it's very important to you know every once in a while we'll pick up energy walking around um just anywhere grocery stores you know you can pick up energy anywhere and also you want to clear your home and your space um just every once in a while especially if you feel anything like negative this is a really easy way to do this. So we have some sage here. Brindle is very responsible. You can go ahead and light the sage, Brindle. And once you light the sage, and you just go through your entire house, every single room, um, if you'd like to, if you feel comfortable calling in your higher power, that's very beneficial. Higher power, what I do is I say, I call in magnificent, beautiful um, Jesus Christ, Christ consciousness, and Archangel Michael. And then we go through each room. And once the sage starts, we just blow it around every corner, every crevice, uh, saging, cleansing, purifying. Do you want to? All right. Sage is just a, a very easy way to protect yourself. So you can sage yourself. You can sage every single room of the house. Um, you just kind of blow it. You can use a feather to get the, the smoke everywhere uh, up in corners. Go ahead. Blow it up. And while do so, just set the intention to remove anything um, that does not serve you or your highest good. Um, every, and you can do cabinets and you can do uh, just wherever you feel. Basements, sub-basements, attics. And while doing this, you can say, if you do not serve me or my highest good, um, you are commanded to leave. You can go willingly with Jesus, or you can go forcibly with Archangel Michael. That's your choice, but you are not permitted to stay here. That is not your choice, and you are commanded to leave. It's just important to open your windows, just even if it's cold outside, crack them, just to let that energy move. It, I mean, it doesn't necessarily, it removes just anything that doesn't belong, just residue, just stagnant energy, just move it on out of the window. It doesn't necessarily have to be dark. Um, you know, it's just good to do. It's just a good ritual and practice to do. And so it is. I always say, and so it is. And then I always thank, you know, our ascended uh, masters and, you know, whoever's our archangels, our higher, the higher beings that are with us. I always thank them for their help. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And also there is, um, just do. <laughs> see, we have this really neat, um, it's like a seashell clam thing that holds the ashes and then 
we have these crystals. It's just, and then it, there's crystals that can assist you. Um, you can give them to your children. I give one to each. I give a lot of crystals to my children, but this is black tourmaline. This is shungite. Um, these particular crystals absorb negative energy. So as long as you just cleanse and clear them, you can cl cleanse and clear them with sage. Or you can cleanse them with sunlight or moonlight. You can bury them under the ground with the earth elements. So there's just a lot of ways to cleanse and clear. So just um, have no fear, y'all. Have no fear. Love wins. Okay, and you, as you can see, he's just going up through the entire house, waving it around, blowing it around. And um, just make that intention. Set that intention with every single um, hallway and room that you go into, just with the same exact intention. If there's anything in this room that does not belong, that does not serve us in our highest good, um, you are not permitted to stay here. You are um, commanded to leave. Um, you can go willingly with Jesus, or you can go forcibly with Archangel Michael. That is your choice. Go around, buddy. But you have no choice in the fact that you cannot stay here. So you just have to take back your power, no matter what. So there's no fear. It's all love. I will be offering um, sage in my, my boutique pretty soon. So um, just be on the lookout for that if you'd like to purchase sage from me. Awful. Also, I, have, um, I currently have Himalayan salt lamps um off available okay, you, so yeah i'm just slowly expanding the business here i offer, offer my services as you know quantum healing hypnosis and reiki and also i'm slowly adding products such as um, there'll be sage and yoga instructors and um, meditation instructors and all sorts of things um, other healers just expanding that's timeless impressions boutique.com all right thank you